Hi there, I'm Katie Shepard, Research and Instruction Librarian at East Georgia. Today I'm going to show you how to search Galileo to find exactly what you're looking for quickly and easily. So, to get to the library part of the website, we'll start at the East Georgia website, ega.edu, and then scroll all the way to the bottom and use the library shortcut. So we put all the important information right here in the middle of the page. I want to point out our search widget with three tabs, which is what we'll be looking at today. So if you know you're looking for information about books or ebooks, you can search here in this tab in this search box. Today, though, we're going to focus on Galileo. So I'll choose the Galileo tab, which shows us the search box for Galileo. So Galileo is the online uh, version of the East Georgia Library. There are millions and millions of bits of information and all types of sources. But today we're going to focus on finding articles, specifically scholarly peer-reviewed articles, um, for you to use in your research. So when you search Galileo, you don't search with sentences or questions. You always search with your keywords or your big ideas. So we'll do a quick search on anxiety and children. So you see I chose my two big keywords, anxiety and children, and just stuck an and between them. When you search Galileo, you can choose as many keywords as you like and just stick an and between them um, to be able to narrow your search find exactly what you're looking for. So that gives us 2.1 million results. Now all your results are right here down the middle. I want to point out at the top there's what's called a research starter. So when you search for a really broad topic like anxiety, then they give you a research starter which is basically an encyclopedia or a reference material. This is a good place to start if you're not sure what you want to focus on in a topic and you need to narrow it down. This gives you lots of foundational understanding, a definition, and basic information about a topic. But like I said, we're actually looking for scholarly articles, um, so we don't want to have to dig through 2.1 million results. So I'm going to suggest that we use, on the left side, these filters. So these filters, uh, you can pick and choose what you like to get to show results that reflect exactly what you need. So I always suggest to use the full text filter here. This gets rid of all the results that aren't full text that you can only read part of because when we're doing our research we want to be able to read the entire article now and access it. So that takes us down to 1.4 million results. We still don't want to have to look through all of those results so we'll find some more filters to help us. If you know you only want information that's new um, or recent, then you could always try this publication date filter. So let's say we want things in the last 10 years. So I'm going to change that 2008 to 2018. That's still 800,000 results, so plenty of information, but too much to, to go through by hand. So I suggest that we try one more filter, the scholarly peer-reviewed journal filter. Now, some people have heard the terms scholarly journals or scholarly articles. Um, so scholarly articles are kind of like research papers written by scholars or professors and then published in journals, which are just scholarly magazines. Now, if a scholarly journal is also peer-reviewed, that means that the articles within the journal are written by scholars or professors and approved by scholars or professors. So that's the best of the best information. So I always say scholarly peer-reviewed journals are scholar-written and scholar-approved. So we'll choose that filter. That takes us down to four, oh excuse me, that takes us down to 500,000 results. So um, as you can see we've used three different filters. The full text, because we want to read all of it, scholarly peer-reviewed journals, so scholar-written, scholar-approved, and articles written in the last 10 years. So from here you can scroll through your results or continue adding filters. Now let's look at the very first results. So let's say we've we've gotten several examples that we're interested in looking at. So how do you actually access the articles? So I always suggest that you click directly on the title which takes you to the detail page. This is where you can see who wrote the article, where it was published, when it was published, 
that it is an article, and then it has subjects. It also has an abstract. Sometimes it says description. So I always encourage people when they're doing research to look at the abstract or the description first. So instead of having to read five different 25 page articles to see if they're relevant to your research, you can instead look at the abstract. The abstract is the summary. And by reading that summary you can quickly determine whether or not this would be useful and worth reading the entirety of quickly and easily. So if we saw that this is an article we really wanted to read, we would just go over to the left and click the PDF full text. And this shows you within the browser the entire article. So from here you can download it, you can print it. I also want to point out there's a shortcut on the side here, this yellow box that says cite it. So you know when you use information that is not yours, you have to give credit. And that is called a citation. So it's a formal way of getting credit. It has the, the author's name and the title and the information about the publishing. So Galileo actually creates these citations for you. So depending on which citation style your professor chooses, always ask your professor. Usually it can be APA or MLA, sometimes Turabian. Um, you can look through the citations, find the relevant style, and there's the citation. So if you wanted to do MLA, or your professor requested that you use MLA, here's the citation. Or if your professor preferred APA, here's the citation. Now always remember you're smarter than a computer and sometimes when it puts it together it capitalizes things funny or something's not um, italicized properly. So you always remember this is a great framework, a good place to start um, and it's usually 95% correct. So you always want to go through those references um, and double check that everything looks correct. But here is your citation. So you can just copy and paste that into your references page. So now you know how to navigate Galileo, how to use filters, how to do searches using a variety of keywords, and also how to access your articles and get citations. Remember Galileo uh, has a lot of information so sometimes it can be hard to navigate and if you ever have trouble make sure that you get in touch with a librarian we're happy to help. You can call us, chat with us, email us, there's a variety of ways to get in touch with us and remember always here to help. Thanks.